Hello Blender friends and welcome to another Super 3 Boy Blender tutorial. Now today I'm going to teach you something you've all been requesting, animation. So before we start I'm going to go over a little bit about the form for the new users. Now on the form.nistic.com you can register and you can post about uh, geeky things like HTML, PHP, JavaScript, and there's also a Blender 3D section, which is pretty helpful for some people. You can uh, post about your renders and animations, and you can also request help. So for this topic, um, this guy is asking for help for his skyscraper city, and I'm helping with him with that. So. When you get some time, just post on here and I'll help you out with whatever you need. So let's get started on the tutorial. So go ahead and open Blender if you have not already. I have it this down here in the taskbar. And go to the default queue. It should be already be there. If it's not, just hit File New. And so what I like to do when I'm doing animations, I used, like to go up here sort of change the window around so you click this little tab here and hit animation and see everything sort of changes around um, and these are the kind of toolbars we'll be using for animation now down here this is called the timeline now we set little things called keyframes in here and that's what where we want like an object to be at a particular point so right now I have the default queue. I'm going to hit Alt and then the left mouse button. Sort of drag it over here so you can see the queue better. And I'm going to hit this button here and change it to a solid view. Right now it's in wireframe. So just change it to solid so we can see a little bit better. And so, as I told you before, it works off a series of keyframes. So the first thing we're going to want to do is hit the I key. So I hit that, and we can insert a keyframe. This is location, is loc and rotation and rote. And so it basically tells it, okay, at this particular point in the timeline, it's going to be right here for location. Or in this particular part in the timeline, it's going to be at a particular rotation, or uh, it's going to be a particular size scale. So, just click loc right there, and that's going to set a keyframe. If you can see that, that a little bit, it, it changed yellowish, and we have some other options over here that change. So, when the animation starts, it's saying, okay, at the first frame right here, the cube is going to be at that location. And so this goes by seconds here. So let's say that in one second, we wanted the cube to move over a little bit. So I'm going to click right here on that line there, just above the one. And click a little bit more over here until we get exactly on the one. You can put it wherever you want on this timeline. I'm just going to put it at the one second mark. And then we hit the G key to move it, so let's move it a little bit to the right here, and click, and so now we've moved our cube, and then hit I, loc. So in one second, the cube will go from here to here, and you can see as I drag this timeline, it changes. So now we have a basic animation laid out for us. So let's add another keyframe. Go back to the one. Let's go to two here. And hit the G key and move it a little towards us. Click, I, location. There we go. We have a little animation here that sort of cycles through. So what I can do is hit. Alt A and it'll do the animation for me. I'll just hit escape to stop it. So 
Now that we have a basic animation, we can get into a, a few more things. Um, select the first second, the zero, 0, hit I, go to Scale, and then so we're setting our default scale at the first point. So if we go to 2 seconds here, we can hit the S key, make it a little way bigger, hit I, and then scale. So now, if I do an animation, I'm going to go back to the zero, 0 frame. If I hit Alt-A, it gets bigger and moves. So, if you're working along with me, you've created your first animation. And I hope this helps anyone who's uh, starting to get into animation. Now, I won't do this now because it will take a bit of time, but you can hit Render, Render Animation, and it'll take a while and it'll render each frame of the animation so you get a rendered textured view and so you can take any of your objects and you can put them in this editor here and you can move the, you can do the timeline thing that I showed you and you can move them around and do animations so this is it for this tutorial because we're running out of time but in the coming tutorials I'll teach you um, a little bit more about animation and what you can do with it. Thanks for watching.